South Park Fractured Butthole. Uh, it's been several weeks since I, uh, since I did a recording. Uh, I think my last recording was like mid-December or something, and it's now January 7th, so. Alright, let's do this. Uh, I rewatched bits of episode 8, and it looks like we are... We were still doing stuff in the Buca de Fagacini, so. Let's see if that is correct. Those carbohydrate crusaders were no match for the Kunin friends. Huh, sidekick? Classy must have gone this way, but the path is barricaded. I can easily lift this out of the way, but I can't use my apple juice without insulin to bring me back down. Hmm, maybe we could trigger my diabetic rage somehow. Okay, so how Of course with my super strength I could knock it over, but I can't use apple juice without my insulin. We need to find a way to tip that over without resorting to apple juice. Yeah, I'm fucking working on it, huh? I'm such a mild-mannered superhero, it's almost impossible to push me into a state of blind rage. Except... Wait, that's it! Your farts, psychic! Your terrible farts that throw me into fits of rage! Oh, oh come on, you want me to fart on you? Make me feel insecure when he told me that my mom's farts gave me diabetes. He was trying to help me unlock my true powers! We've got to get through there and get the classy sidekick for the good of South Park. For Coon and friends. I need you to fart on my face. God damn it. Ugh. Don't be shy. <laughs> Just tell me where to stand. Alright, ready when you are. What the fuck? We did it! The path is clear. <laughs> it's hard for me to lose control what of the my fuck was that? Never situation like that again, Psychic. Know that you can fart in my face. Oh god. There's a Boogers and Cum song? Boogers and Cum. That was ridiculous. Holy guacamole! What is this? Oh, uh, this man. got dark. We got to tell the guys. Who? Now it's just get, get, get the diabetes. We found missing cats. A whole room of them. Dude, it scrambles one of them? Uh, negative. None of them are fat and old. Then what about the girl? We're still tracking her. We have to find out what she knows. Get going. We so close, I can smell it. Come on, sidekick. Wait. There was a... Gotcha. Hold on, sidekick. Sounds like there could be trouble behind that door. There's someone in there. Get ready. One, two, diabetes! <laughs> See, I told you to come for chasing me. And you let them here, you stupid bitch? Uh-uh. Who are you calling a stupid bitch? Do I look like your mama? That dang it up, Classy! These kids are cops? That ain't no cop. That's Captain Diabetes. When he was born, his mom farted during labor and it gave him diabetes that he uses to fight crime. And that is not how people get diabetes. No, it's if not. If they aren't cops, then we can shoot them. Along with this bitch, too. 
shit. Y'all turning on me? I knew I shouldn't have went into business with y'all Tony Soprano looking motherfuckers. So long, <laughs> Captain Diabetes. Let's see your diabetes save you now. Uh-oh. Ah, what the? I want my keys. What the fuck? I don't have your keys, man. Ah! He's wasted on red wine. Red wine drunk is the worst drunk there is. Ah! Ah! Let's get the fuck out of here. All right, Captain Diabetes. This is it. Give me my fucking keys. You are in no condition to drive. Then die. Are we seriously fighting Randy again? Yep. We are seriously fighting Randy again. You're being unreasonable, Mr. Marsh. Let me call your wife. Leave Sharon out of this, you little prick. Turns out I can. Sharon's texting me. I can't type. Why the fuck can't I type? Why are my thumbs so big? Hey Siri, fucking take a note. Tell my wife, fuck off, cause I'm fighting. Poop emoji. <laughs> <laughs> what? Like a fucking jungle cat. Yeah, uh, he's totally out of his mind. Damn that. That actually hurt a bit. I think we underestimated the power of red wine. This is for scrambles, you bastard. You really need to sign up for AA, Mr. Mark. Tell them what you're made of, butthole. You got a disrespect, bro. You cannot have your key. Wow, I Tendally, fucked that up. My friends are watching. I fucked that up a lot, actually. Feel the wrath of human heist. She sounds pissed. Which one of you assholes told Sharon I was here? Hold on, hold on. Be home soon. Looking for my fucking keys. Heart, heart, exos. <laughs> I learned this watching daytime TV. Yeah, that's what you get, bitch. Goddamn. Fucking yes. Yes, motherfucker, did I just win? You're dead. Um. Hold on, sidekick. Sounds like there could be trouble behind that door. There's someone in it. Alright, yeah. You're being unreasonable, Mr. Marsh. Let me call your wife. Leave Sharon out of this, you little prick. Uh-uh, that's not fair. Y'all 
Y'all can't be using your ass to speed up time and skip people turns and shit. I have a really good feeling about this, guys. Sharon's texting me. I can't type. Why the fuck can't I type? Why are my thumbs so big? Hey Siri, fucking take a note, tell my wife. Fuck off, fighting. Poop emoji. I will take the time to heal up. Human tight clear for takeoff. <laughs> Randy, you some kind of pussy. You're some kind of pussy. Oh man, she sounds pissed. Which one of you assholes told Sharon I was here? I just realized on, that that on. didn't quite Be sound home soon. that Looking great. Looking for my fucking... Jeez. Heart, heart, exos. Kill you, Scott. Still bleeding? Now, you've done it again, Butlord. Villainy will never defeat Coon and friends. Really fucked that one up. Ooh, Mama gonna make that all better when this is done. I would save you from your death. And that really hurt. My friends are watching. Now you're gonna get it. <laughs> this is the part where the bad there guys regret their life choices. All right, I'm gonna take a cab. There, nobody drinks and drives on Captain Guy B. 
trying to get new high-grade drugs out on the street. It's somebody trying to bring the Italians and Chinese crime families together and shit. Enough small talk. Where is Scrambles? Scrambles? We need this reward money for our superhero franchise. Oh, shit. Y'all just want a cat? So then there's Cisco. He just some low-class asshole started working two months ago. He be what talking all this shit happening? about making money off the crime in the city because some big shot white boy be running all the drugs and all the hookers and shit, right? Okay. Uh-uh, but not me. I'm my own pimp, you know what I'm saying? It's like I got one investment in this world, and that's my pussy, and I ain't putting no mortgage on that to some high-paying nigga talking about trying to make more money off crime and shit. Classy, classy, I'm sorry, but what, what about the cats? Oh, that cats? Okay, that's this little Asian freak named Yakibaba or some shit like that. He going around paying all these little sixth graders to take people's cats. That's fucked up. I think taking that pussy and, like, taking mine, you know what I'm saying? That's like criminal shit. Where do the cats go? I can tell you, but I ain't saying shit until I know I'm safe, you understand? These niggas ain't playing, and I need to know you gonna protect my ass. Eric Cartman, do you have any idea what time it is? This is a school night. Mom, not now. We're seriously onto something. You kids all get home now, or I'm calling your parents. Sorry, Mrs. Cartman. Please don't tell my mom. And who is this stripper woman? These cone friends offer me protection. Well, she's not staying here. Fine, fat pass, take her to your house. Okay. <laughs> And now, the news program that starts your day off right. Good morning, well, South Park. Good morning, South Park. A new vigilante took to the streets last night and has apparently single-handedly taken down the Famboni crime family. Here with more is a midget in a bikini. Tom, I'm standing outside the Book of Day Fagaccini where the vigilante declared war on crime in South Park. Security camera footage showed a young person farting in people's faces on their balls. It was just terrifying. The kid came in and just started farting on people. It was out of nowhere, man. Maybe someone's finally standing up to what's wrong with this city. This new kid's a hero. The kid's a menace, if you ask me. How long before he or she kills an innocent person? How long before Daredevil becomes the Punisher? Huh? Three seasons? Three seasons! Police called to the scene found a treasure trove what? of illegal items that they claim might tie the Italian restaurant to a larger crime syndicate. This may be just the tip of the iceberg. Certainly chilling stuff, and there are reports the vigilante possibly had a sidekick. There was thought to be a sidekick, Tom, but further investigation showed it was just some little twerp with diabetes. Thanks, Midget, and of course, the question on everyone's minds now, who is the farting vigilante? This is going to make us look bad. You fucked up. It wasn't our fault. This kid just came into the restaurant and started farting like there was no tomorrow. All you Italians are supposed to do is move the product. The Chinese and Russians do the rest. Everything has to be discreet and quiet or people are gonna learn the truth. That we put the product into people's drugs and alcohol in order to create more crime. Oh no. You just keep doing your part in getting the cheese out on the streets. Or maybe I'll start dealing directly with the Russians. Or the Chinese. Or the sixth graders. What the fuck? Oh man, what a great sleep. Yeah, I haven't slept that well in weeks. <sighs> so, you guys do anything interesting last night? Oh, no, you know, the usual. Just watched some TV and went to bed. Yep, nothing exciting in our b boring lives. Well, then, I guess I'll just be seeing you guys tomorrow. You've got a big day ahead of you, new kid. Get changed into your superhero costume and wait for a message from the king. <sighs> All right. How do you do that? That was dumb. You're dumb. All right, my lord. It's time for us to get the information we need from Classy. Any good superhero should know how to interrogate. 
Get over to Jimmy's house and find out what she knows. Keen, apt. Alright. Need to get somewhere for fit, 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 fit quickly? Yeah. I could have taken like seven million selfies by now, like literally. All right, so get to Carpenter's house and just go left. See you, new kid. Dude, I'm literally going to your house. Hey, Forthy, want to see a naked picture of your mom? <laughs> <laughs> Who wants the first cut? Punch someone for the coon, fart lord. Step aside, coon friends. Daddy's home. Thanks for standing there like a little bitch deer in the headlights. It's my turn now. Uh oh. Ha! Your turn is now property of Soon and Friends. Here we go. Take this. <laughs> May they never find a cure for diabetes. Kind of I can't thing, say no to kicking some forthy ass. If you'll excuse me, I have a balloon to piss in. Prepare for a vicious squinting. Ow! Next time I'll use my high beam. You got this! <laughs> You're not gonna know what hit you, but it was definitely the king. when you cut yourself manscaping. Captain Guy B, prepare to strike. <laughs> Hell yeah! Ha! These guys are no match for us. Forecast, 100% chance of kite attack. <laughs> Not even my podiatrist can save that villain. Podiatrist? Is he like the Alfred to your Batman? Welcome to the last day of the rest of your life. Fucked by the long dong of judgment. All your mates are belong to us. <laughs> that was fun. been waiting three years for this bus. Look at you with all that storage on your device. That'll work. Outstanding. Wait, wait, are we not? Praise the Lord, little cuckoo kid. I guess we're not doing the, uh, Selfie thing anymore. Oh, it's you again. Sub hero. Don't be farting in my face and shit. I'm not. Hey, fast pass. One of your super homies is here. Oh, hey, new kid. The coon told me he wants you to question the witness, so go ahead. Have at it. Go ahead, new kid. Ask her anything you want. Oh, that's smart. Using the silent treatment can really make a witness a antsy. I look, I know y'all need my help and shit, but I ain't talking to you go get my medication. 
Y your medication? Yeah, I can't think straight without my medication. You gotta go pick up my prescription, all right? Until you get my prescription, I ain't telling you little heroes fuck all nothing. Well, all right, fine. Looks like you got more work to do, new kid. But before you go back out in the world, I want to show you something that might help your crime fighting. Let's get up to my room, to bed. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, new kid. It's time to take your superpowers to the next level. Go ahead and stand in the DNA fibulator. All right, new kid, just stand still, and I'll talk you through this. Jimmy, what the hell did you make? Check out the new hero DNA slot I opened up for you. Stuff you insert here will make a big impact on your combat... Pa pa your combat... Pa effectiveness. Pick the one that best suits your power loadout. Just keep in mind that a big damage boost may mean less health, or vice versa. Kind of like how steroids shrink your buffs. Or so I've read. All right, now you know what real power feels like. Pretty dang good. That should do it, new kid. Hope you have a grasp of it. Now get out there and kick some <laughs> booty. Uh, let me fill artifacts real quick. Uh, is that? And that seems like the perfect stopping point for episode 9. We will see you next time for episode 10.